welcome to a guide to. Today's topic is on French Bulldogs. Why should you have a French Bulldog? Why do we have French Bulldogs? Are you going to see our French Bulldogs? Absolutely. First, a little bit about us. Uh, I have a family of uh, five. I have uh, three kids, 11, 11, 15, and I have a cat. I have a rabbit. I also have two French Bulldogs. Uh, I have a female that is almost six years old and a male that is one and a half years old, so it's still sort of puppyish. Um, that's enough about us, so we should now introduce us to the dogs. Hello, doggies. So these are my dogs. Uh, the left one that is light brown is Molly. She's a female. She is... Uh, almost six years old, and my big boy is Gustav, right? So, Gustav is one and a half year, he's still fairly juvenile in how he's behaving, but he's settling, settling in nicely, right? And they can do a few tricks, they're not very well behaved, I haven't done that much training with them, they can do a little bit, a little bit of stuff, okay? So... Oh, they can turn around. What they can do. Good boy. Good girl. Alright. Here. There you go. Okay, so sit. No, oh, no. <laughs> so, sit. 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 Leg. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Are you cute? Yes. <laughs> you are so cute. So now you see my dogs. As you can see, my dogs are the most beautiful dogs in the world. There are no other dogs that are, are cuter than my dogs. They are so cute. Um... If you want to debate it, you can debate it in the comment section, but there's really no debate. These are the most cute dogs in the world. Final discussion. Uh, but on the more serious note, you can see that those dogs have a huge difference in size. Uh, and uh, that's fairly normal with the breed. Uh, there's there's going to be big ranges like in a lot of breeds, but the, my dogs are... are very high up on my male on, on how big he is. He's huge to be a French Bulldog. And my female is on the smaller size. So she's 9 kilos, which is approximately 20 pounds. And they're supposed the female is supposed to be between 9 and 11 kilos or between 20 and 25 pounds. My male, uh, the males are supposed to be between 11 to, to 14 and a half kilos, which is between like 27, 28 pounds up to 32 pounds, he is over 41 pounds. So he's 18.7 kilos. So he's a very, very large French Bulldog. Uh, they're both purebred, so that's there's no mixing of anything in there, but they are very, very different in size. When it comes to what type of dogs they are, they're very much French Bulldogs, both of them. So they're funny. They're clowns. They have huge uh, personalities like French Bulldogs all should have. So we're going to go through why we got a French Bulldog. Um, we looked at dogs uh, for us as a family, which you always should do. Uh, we see a lot of people that we know that are getting, that get like typical hunting dogs and they have like a busy lifestyle. They don't have time to have a hunting dog. They're not hunting. They're not out running all the time with their dogs they're getting like uh these duck hunting dogs that can run for hours and they're like overweight it's just, it's just not the right dog for them so the dogs aren't very happy they don't get the exercise they need so you should look at your lifestyle do you want a dog that you're running with every day that you're going hunting with that you're bringing to the mountains that you need to be able to follow you on your active lifestyle well sure then a dog that needs tons of exercise is the right thing for you if it doesn't need if you don't exercise a lot or you don't like walking for four hours a day then maybe not get a dog that needs that uh and there's that narrows things down we had we had 
we babysat a few different breeds before we decided on what breed we wanted to get. Uh, we were lucky that we had uh, dogs that we were able to babysit. So we, I grew up with big German Shepherds. I thought I wanted a big dog, but after having like we have a busy house with uh, with cats and tons of kids and stuff, and it was just right for us to get a mid sized to smaller breed. Uh, we also were active people, but we we wanted a dog that could follow our lifestyle that could join us for exercise and join us for out uh, for activities that join us for vacations and stuff but didn't need a ton of exercise we have uh, pretty big kids now they have tons of after school activities we don't have time to to do as much as as uh, some people obviously do from what type of dogs they're getting uh, so we needed a dog that uh, could enjoys exercise but doesn't need a ton of exercise that's sociable, good with kids, uh, has our calm. And then it narrowed it down pretty fast. And we ended up with a French Bulldog. And we're so happy that we did. It's been the perfect breed for us. Uh, they're so sociable. They love absolutely everyone. Uh, they are the sluts of the, of, of the dog when it comes to loving people. Uh, I say that jokingly, but when we get people over, they're just as happy with uh, any attention they get. If it's anyone that gives them attention, they love instantly, uh, which is nice. They're not good duck guard dogs uh, for that reason. I mean, they can be protected around the yard, sort of, when people are outside the fence. We have a fenced yard, uh, but as soon as the people get inside the fence, they love them as much as us. So uh, they're, they're loyal in the sense that they love their owners and they know that they're part of the family, but and they want to stay on top of you all the time. But they love everyone, basically, and they'll love you to death if they get the chance. They'll they'll literally stay on top of you if they can. So very very sociable, very lovable, and funny dogs. Uh, and if if you want a dog that doesn't bark much, they don't bark much. Has a awesome temper. I mean, they're they're so calm and so nice. Uh, they have fairly low maintenance when it comes to grooming, and they shed a little bit, and the hairs get stuck on stuff, but uh, it's uh, as long as you have like one of those hose rollers, sticky rollers, uh, you're going to get that off. Uh, I mean, the hairs are short-haired, so they stick to stuff, but uh, it's not like you're a long-haired dog that has like bags of hair on them every every time they shed a lot uh, we live in Norway so they do shed a little bit when it comes to the different seasons but it's not horrible uh, so fairly low maintenance when it comes to grooming we don't have to I mean, we have like a brush for them but they have to use that very often uh, so easy uh, they are perfectly happy with not being exercised much at all i mean we have a yard that fends we do short walks with them we can do long walks in the weekends and stuff but they're perfectly happy if they don't get long walks or lots of uh, exercise they're perfectly fine with playing indoors they play tons in, indoors so if you live in a city you have an apartment stuff very very good if you have a big house but then you don't need to they're they're fine with smaller spaces too uh, as long as they have some people around them uh, for portions of the day they're happy because they're very sociable you need to give them attention they are they crave attention uh, they can get moody if they don't get attention uh, I mean they sleep a lot but when they're awake they want attention from whoever is there uh, they prefer or, uh, if it's owner if it's someone else they don't really care uh, they love their owners of course uh, like any dog does it's, that's their pack but they love attention um, so that's basically the, the, the pros. When it comes to the cons uh, of having a French Bulldog, obviously, if you're having a, a breed that is brachialic that has a flat nose, there's going to be issues uh, potentially with their breathing, the respiratory system. Uh, our Frenchies, I mean, our females, she grunts like a pig a little bit, uh, but we checked out all her breed, all her, uh, how everything works, and she gets more than enough air. She's never warm in the summer. Uh, she's fine. Our male is also she. He breathes perfectly fine. He's like you can't even tell that he's he doesn't snort at all. So, uh, but it all depends on. It's it's very difficult to tell when you get a puppy. Uh, but my advice is go to a breeder that has uh, go to a proper breeder. Don't go to just like a puppy mill or something like hit that. Just go to a proper breeder that has papers and orders 
look at the history of uh, of their dogs. Uh, it, they should have X-rays, X-rays, uh, and uh, hip papers and all the shot papers and everything for the parents. You should get to meet the parents and see that how they are. Uh, if you can't get all that stuff verified, then don't buy from that breeder. Uh, your country should have a list of who are the the certified breeders of French Bulldogs and go to one of those and make sure that they have good reviews and stuff and you should be okay, but there's always a risk with getting, uh, getting a French Bulldog. They do have health issues. Uh, with breathing, they also can have issue with the, with their eyes. Uh, it can get something as it's called cherry eyes that there's a little, these get like a, a red, pulpy thing that grows out of their eye uh, on the corner of their eyes it has to be removed our dogs have never had cherry eyes but it's a, it's a fairly common thing uh, they can they're finicky when it comes to food with allergies and stuff so we give our dogs a specific uh, uh, dog food for the breed it's Royal Canine for French Bulldog it's been perfect for us uh, but a lot of people have to shop around to get the right food for them because they have finicky stomachs uh, that's that's an issue with French Bulldogs. You need to be careful with the way you feed them. Uh, as long as you get a good food, then that's just fine. Uh, they fart. Yes, they do fart. Um, they're a dog breed that does fart. <laughs> and it smells. If you give them lots of different types of human food and stuff, of course, then that's, that's going to make it worse. Like with all dogs, they should have dog food, not tons of uh, different human food. They're not humans. Uh, we try to not give her our dogs any type of human food if we give them something it's just pure meat pure chicken pure pure beef and that's also what they get for treats it's just pure dried either liver or, or chicken it's, 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 it's good for them uh, for treats not an excess excess because there's a lot of protein in that but give them pure shit give them good shit basically um pardon my French so uh, and they're expensive. They're expensive dogs to buy. Um, uh, our dogs cost uh, around. We live in Norway, so they're around twenty thousand kroners from a from a proper breeder. That would be around twenty five hundred dollars US or two thousand euros, two thousand British pounds around around there. That's uh, plus minus. That's what you're going to pay for uh, a French bulldog from a proper breeder. If you're paying more, just if you're getting like a a coat that's not certified. There's certain colors for the French Bulldog that are certified for the breed. The colors that aren't mean that you have a breeder that's breeding just for the looks of the dog. The blue color isn't. Uh, it's not a color that the dog should have. You have the ones that look like Dobermans and stuff. They look beautiful. I don't have anything against that at all. But there are the breeders that do so are doing so just for the the look of the dog and not for any of the health benefits. They're not breeding them. To, to, to be healthy, they're breeding them to look a certain way. Uh, and it's not approved by any of the, the official associations of breeders for French Bulldog either. They have certain colors. There's, uh, there's Fawn, there's Brindle, there's, uh, there's Peed Fawn, and that's uh, basically it. Uh, ours is Peed Fawn and Fawn. Um, and if they're not those colors, I mean, there's there's instances as regular breeders, you can get the different color from from a regular lid or two, but there's a lot of breeders out there that are taking insane amounts of money on not official colors and the breeders that are just doing it for health benefits, like fashion accessories. I don't approve of that at all. Um, so that's a price, of course. There's some health issues there, so there will be vet bills you have to calculate with as well. Our dogs have been perfectly healthy. We've only been to the vet with them over six years for minor things like shots and stuff like that. Nothing, nothing major. No health issues at all. Um, we have a male and a female. If you have one, you should get one of them uh, fixed. We have our female fixed, uh, and our male has not had any issues with humping or anything like that. So we haven't had any reason to fix him. But one of your dogs should be fixed if you have male and female or both if that's something you you want to do when you're out breeding on them and if you're not if you don't breed dogs french bulldogs is not the dog to start breeding with because there are health uh there are serious health effects on on breeding with uh with french bulldogs they usually have to have c-sections stuff like for birth so it's not something 
an unexperienced breeder should start with. Um, they're stubborn. They're not the easiest the dogs to train, but they are trainable. I mean, we know people that compete in agility and like uh, uh, competitions and stuff with their dogs that are very, very well trained. Ours are okay trained. They, our male is a little bit stubborn. He, we're working on it. He usually comes when we call him, but if he doesn't feel like it, it can be difficult. Um, our female is very well behaved, very well trained. They're both well behaved. They're, they're good dogs. Uh, very lovable, very easy dogs to own. So, should you get a French Bulldog? Well, that's up to you. We love them. And if you like this video, then you should click on that subscribe thing and also the bell so you get our videos. We're going to post stuff on French Bulldogs now and then. You can follow our, our family of, of, uh, of people and dogs. Uh, also, test some equipment, tell you why, what to feed, not to feed, and so on. But this is exclusively a dog channel, so there will be other stuff here too that if you are a human being that enjoys stuff, you should subscribe because there's going to be stuff that's enjoyable. I promise.